What's up, YouTube? All right, guys, for today's video. So today we got a video with the PPSH41. Now, I, don't, I ain't gonna lie to you guys. Like, I see a lot of YouTubers, like, talking about this gun. They said it's trash. And I was like, wait a minute. Hold on. This gun ain't trash, though, unless you ain't, don't have a better class of the for it, for it. But this class, I'm gonna show you guys in the video, man. You gotta try this class out. We dropped some insane gameplays, man. A lot of people probably thought I was, like, hacking or I was, like, a... You know what I'm saying? Pro player, but I'm not a pro player. I'm just a normal solo player. You know what I'm saying? Just grinding what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? But today we got a video with this SMG DLC weapon of the PPSH41. And I know for a fact, like, I made a video of the, you know what I'm saying? The one from World War II. And it got like, probably I could say maybe like 400 some views. I was like, wow, that's crazy. I think it was 400 some views or maybe 300 some views, I think. But I really appreciate for all you guys' support, man, on that video, man. It's crazy though. Uh, I will have another video tomorrow. It might be the OTS-9 because I got a new class up for that. I tried to use the Task Force Barrel on the PPSH-41 in the uh, OTS-9. It did not work out for real. For you had to find like a different class of the Ford though. For real, for real. And I know for facts, like a lot of people probably ask me, like, do I use a record, like no zero record, like a Z pack or Chronos pack or something like that. I don't really use that, man. For real, for real. That's why I, if you guys didn't follow me on Twitter, I said to myself, I said, I'm going to buy a webcam. So I'm going to show you guys like what I what I do with my hands on my controller, of my battle beaver. You know what I'm saying? And I, I know people want to see what I do, though, because for, for I don't cheat because I'm a small YouTuber. I'm not like, you know what I'm saying? These other YouTubers like that, because I ain't gonna lie to you guys like haters would get on big YouTubers head though. For, for they be saying something about like swag right away. You know what I'm saying? Any YouTuber you watch, like, it's just crazy, though. Anyway, guys, drop a like, subscribe to me for more gameplays of any Call of Duty on my channel and Rainbow CCs as well. Also, guys, on the first video, I dropped 55 kills on the third bag mod pit. I think we was playing on Ray. And in the second video, we played New Jack 24-7. I think we was playing Nuketown or maybe Hijack, I think. One of the maps, but we pop off. I think we dropped like 30-some plus kills. Not too bad, though. At least I showcased you guys the gun. And we pop off got some streets as well in the second video. Also, guys, it's 96.1% of you guys on subscribers. So hit that subscribe button, man. I upload every day, man, of classes, best settings, tricks and tips. Anything you name up, guys, it would be on my channel of Rainbow CCs as well. I apologize, man. I, I could have made more Rainbow CC videos, but I don't know, man. It just like sometimes like... I be trying to like, it be something new in Call of Duty and I just like, well, I might as well just, you know what I'm saying, hop on Call of Duty and get a video of that though, for real, for real. But if you guys are new, hit the subscribe button, man. I'm trying to grind to 300 subscribers. I'm trying to get up there to them big YouTubers, for real, for real, because like, I love doing this, man. Like making videos of Call of Duty and Rainbow Six to show you guys my class setups and tricks and tips and stuff like that, because I know you guys enjoy my, you know what I'm saying, stuff on my channel. But you guys, peace them out. Enjoy the video, man, with the PPSH41.
Listen off now. They couldn't handle us.
All right, guys, so here got that class set up, man, for the PPSH-41. Everybody was talking about this gun, so this gun is bad. But I sh I'm going to show you guys this class that I actually tried today, man. And you guys going to be thinking like, oh, bro, this class is just incredible. And a lot of people say this gun bad, though. It's trash. But I tried out today. We got a new class set up, and we pop off. But I'm going to show you guys the class set up. On the Mizzle, we are using a KGB Illuminator. You can see on the Pro, 85%, 17% of the Mizzle Fat Concilion. Then you got the Vericor Recoil Patrol. Then you can tell on the Com, 10%. 5% of the shooting moving speed, Arizona, Arizona Recoil Patrol, first time tried out the KGB Illuminator on this gun, actually shreds though man, actually help out a lot though, and you guys should try it out man, I love using the SpecNAS Common Sensor, but I just want to use this and try it out, and we pop off, try it out, uh, with the barrel we are using a 14.9 rifle man, you can tell on the Pro, 25% infected damage range, then you can tell on the Com, 5% uh, sprinting moving speed, first time tried a rifle, even though I love using a 14.9 Ranger, but the rifle, not too bad though. Actually insane though, for real, for real. But to myself, I like using a Ranger because if you guys remember from probably like the MP5 or maybe the uh, ak 74 u probably the Liberator. And then I used to use like the, you know what I'm saying, no missile or probably with the missile. I just straight up just destroy people. But I might try it out, man. I don't know. I want to find out for real, for real. Because I, I might make a video with this gun again and we remove the missile. I don't know how it's gonna be, but we want to find out. I got probably gotta find like a best class of the footage though. But try this out, guys. The rifle is actually good. Oh, uh, with the underbarrel wheels and the spec nads, speed grip, you can tell on the pro 3%, 18% of the sprinting moving speed, horizontal control, then you can tell on the com. First time I try this out, not too bad though, even though it had the 18%, like I said, the horizontal recoil control. This gun would actually rise up for real, for real, but if I don't have this, like the Specnaz grip, even though it had the on the Pro 8% and a 22% of the Verico Recoil Control in the Arizona, but I've been using this probably like two times or maybe one time if I'm right or wrong, but use this out, guys. It actually helped a lot. Uh, with the magazine, we're using a VDB 50 round fast, man. First time I tried this out as well, man. Like this right here is actually helped a lot for real, for real, because I've been using the standard and I've been using a 55 round drum. Because they have a lot of rounds, though, but I just want to use this because my first time I tried out, not too bad, though. But you can tell in the comment, it had a 25% 8 down sight time. And, uh, yeah, it's actually good. Then with that handle, we're using a GRU Alaska Wood, man. You already know, man. Snap on enemy, drop shot, break dance, man. I be saying break dance a lot because, like, you just don't know, man. Like, snap on enemies, it just crazy, though. And plus, when, when like, when the enemy is trying to, like, shoot behind you and you mess around and turn on them, they get embarrassed, man. Like, straight up war stuff. For real, for real. But free free try this class out, guys. You guys can tear on the bar. Even though the, the even though the speed is red because I have the uh, Sofo Speed Grip. Or probably got the KGB Illuminator. Or maybe the rifle. Because on the rifle, it does have that 5%. It's pretty moving speed. But if I had the this on her, then it'd probably be bad. Unless I probably got to add, like, a like A attachments to actually make it more better. But I probably made another video with the A attachments. With the Task Force Barrel. Because the Task Force Barrel is going to be some... <laughs> it's gonna be crazy though, for real, for real. Been you guys, drop a like, subscribe, new, and I'll see you guys next time.